Crash Corrigan travels to the ocean floor to bring you a lesson today. Professor Norton has created a machine that can predict and prevent the earthquakes that are plaguing the earth. Billy Norton, the professor's son, enlists the aid of Crash Corrigan, the ideal and the best the Navy has to offer. Diana, a newspaper girl, is looking into the story. Let's dive into Chapter 1 of The Undersea Kingdom, Beneath the Ocean Floor. Wait a minute, son. What do you want? I gotta see Lieutenant Corrigan right away. You can't go in there. It's against orders. But I tell you, I gotta see him. It's important. Even if I let you in, you couldn't talk to the lieutenant now. He's busy. All right. Good work, Crash. I thought the kid was a goner. 
What were you doing up there? Dad sent me over to get you, but they wouldn't let me in. Has he had another earthquake warning? Yeah, he wants you to come right over. Well, wait until I get into my clothes. I'm going over to Professor Norton's laboratory. Very well, thanks. What you say is very interesting, Professor Norton, but I still can't believe that this little machine can predict earthquakes. Not only predicts, but prevents them. If I could get close enough to the source. Ah, oh, there you are, Lieutenant. The signals are coming in much stronger. Oh, I beg your pardon. Uh, this is Miss Compton, staff writer of the time. Oh, everybody knows Crash Corridon. <laughs> That was the signal again. They've been sending it every five minutes. They? Just whom do you mean by they? Professor Norton maintains that these signals must be the work of some human agency, apparently coming from the bottom of the ocean. I hope you're not going to spring that fantastic yarn about the lost continent of Atlantis. Exactly. Only now I have some definite evidence. This is pure auricalcum. A metal made by fusing gold and copper. The secret of this process was lost with the Atlanteans. What does that prove? Well, according to every test, the idol couldn't be more than a couple of years old. Something made recently. I found it during a recent trip I made in my rocket submarine in, uh, in this general location. And this is where the ancient continent of Atlantis was reported to have sunk thousands of years ago. Contrary to popular belief, Atlantis did not sink overnight, but during a period of years. During this time, the people had ample opportunity to construct a roof of auricalcum over the city and keep out the ocean waves. Thus, Atlantis, no last, still lives. <laughs> but your holiness, Unger Khan's men are at the gates. I beg of you to take safety in the citadel. Poseidon, god of Atlantis has never forsaken his people in time of need. I promise you, he will not do so now. There will be no peace in Atlantis until we have broken the power of this evil usurper, Unger Khan. Imperial Majesty, I am pleased to report that Sherrod's army has been driven within the walls of the sacred city. Good. Recall the troops. With those religious fanatics under control, I'll have no more interference with my plans to destroy the upper world. The fool. When you do succeed in sending them to the bottom of the sea, Atlantis will rise once more to its former place in the sun and you will be ruler of all things. Start the disintegrator. area of St. Clair's in ruins. Thousands dead, hospitals grinning, all communication cut off. Red Cross is appealing for doctors. Special trains are rushing supplies to the stricken area. Governor of the state declared martial law, rushing a militia to the scenes of the disaster. Stand by for further announcements. St. Clair? That's only 300 miles from here. Yes, and according to my calculations, another severe shock will occur any moment. Joe, put that counteracting machine aboard the submarine right away. Do you mean you're going down and try to stop this quake? What a story this will make for my paper. Let me get to a phone. Can I come along, Dad? Some other time, Billy. I have something more important for you, Billy. I want you to take a note to the naval base for me. Hurry up, Joe. We've got no time to lose. But, Professor, I, I don't think it's safe to take the submarine down that far. We've got to take that chance. Get those things aboard. Now, quick, give this note to the commanding officer at the naval base. He'll understand. Come on, Joe. I'll give you a hand. This is not an ordinary submarine, Bill. It's propelled by rocket motors, designed by Professor Norton himself. Yes, it's been tested at 2,500 feet, and he's going to try to reach the bottom this time. I'll tell you more about it when I get back. What? Am I going along? You bet I am. Stay tuned for more excitement. Welcome to Little Hollywood, Ohio. We are a film community. Our members have a broad range of experience in filmmaking, from weekend hobbyists to full-time professionals. Our goal is to provide the indie filmmaker the network and resources to bring their projects to reality. With our group projects, Little Hollywood, Ohio, 
also teaches the art of indie filmmaking through hands-on use of each member's skills. Becoming a member is easy. Come to a meeting, sign up. Check us out on the web at www.littlehollywoodohio.com. submarine will be crushed. You can't hold it yourself, Joe. There's no danger. Why, of course not. Well, you're all mad. If we go any deeper, the submarine will crush like the shell of an egg. Get back there and keep my nose down. We're going through with it. All right. You ask for it. I'll nose her down. I'll send her straight to the bottom. I'll send her to the bottom of the ocean. <laughs>
I hated to do this, but it was the only way I could stop him. He'll be all right in a little while. We're down 7,000 feet. And we're still diving. Do you think it's safe to continue? It's the off-quick detector. I'll stop the counteracting ray while you level the ship off. We're down far enough. There's something wrong with the disintegrator. Must be outside interference, Your Majesty. We'll soon find out. So that's what's interfering with my plans. The deep sea craft from the upper world, Your Majesty. Shall I destroy it? Wait. I have a better plan. Turn on the magnetic ray and bring them down into Atlantis. Professor Norton. What happened? I don't know. We're on a level keel, but we're being dragged down by some mysterious force. Don't even think about changing that channel. The Blurry Dude Show is all about informing and entertaining the indie community. We review music, art, and films from the Northeast Ohio area. What The Blurry Dude means to me is it's a place where local artists can submit their films and music. I believe that the purpose of The Blurry Dude Show is to make the general public more aware of the existence of the indie community. And of course to have fun. Welcome to Little Hollywood, Ohio. We are a film community. Our members have a broad range of experience in filmmaking, from weekend hobbyists to full-time professionals. Our goal is to provide the indie filmmaker the network and resources to bring their projects to reality. With our group projects, Little Hollywood, Ohio also teaches the art of indie filmmaking through hands-on use of each member's skills. Becoming a member is easy. Come to a meeting, sign up. Check us out on the web at www.littlehollywoodohio.com. Dot com. Well, beyond me, here we are 10,000 feet below sea level and apparently in another world. Better submerge the submarine while we investigate this place. Better hide the control box. Now there's a good place. Yes, that'll do. Do you think we'd better wait for Briny and Sawley? Oh, if necessary. They'll join us as soon as we catch Sinbad the parrot. <laughs> My calculations are wrong. We've come across the lost continent of Atlantis. Oh, I can hardly believe it. It must be a mirage, some illusion. Listen. Why, that's no illusion. Those are hoofbeats.
out of sight. We find out if they're friends or enemies. Some sort of a war tank. and they're heading for the beach. But the invisible ray gun will soon stop them. Your lesson for today, never take no for an answer, even if it puts your life in danger. Wait a minute, son. What do you want? I gotta see Lieutenant Corrigan right away. You can't go in there. It's against orders. But I tell you, I gotta see him. It's important. Even if I let you in, you couldn't talk to the lieutenant now. He's busy. All right.
Trash. I thought the kid was a goner. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Superhero 101. And remember, you are all heroes to me. of Superhero 101, visit us online at www.superhero-101.com.